children to America first. This is far-right activist Laura Loomer and white nationalist Nick Fuentes cheering to... To so the hostile takeover of the Republican Party. Absolutely. <laughs> and they're not wrong. Both met personally with Donald Trump. I first met Loomer in 2017 at an event for Manosphere influencer Mike Cernovich. At the time, Loomer was an activist who'd celebrated the deaths of Muslim migrants. But she was being harassed by white nationalist trolls because she's a Jewish woman. Since then, she's taken a strange trajectory, with years somewhat in obscurity because she'd been banned from so many social media sites, like Twitter. When Elon Musk took over Twitter, she came back. She does stunts like ambush interviews. Frank, why aren't you supporting President Trump? I'm a successful investigative journalist. Loomer recently told CNN she's not anti-Muslim. Now, some might dispute that she's entered the mainstream, but she's reached the former president's elite inner circle. Flying to the presidential debate on Trump's plane and to New York as he observed the anniversary of 9-11. A notable appearance since Loomer has pushed the false conspiracy theory that 9-11 was an inside job. She's been seen with Trump a lot. Hey We're here at Bedminster. I'm with the greatest president ever. After rumors circulated among right-wing Twitter users, including Loomer, that Haitian immigrants are eating people's pets in Ohio, Trump repeated the claim in the debate. They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. I spoke to Loomer before the debate. She told me she's attacked as a childless woman who devotes all her time to a man who will never pay attention to her, meaning Trump. But Trump does pay attention to her and reads her reports. Laura, how are you? You look so beautiful, as always. You don't want to be Loomer. If you're Loomer, you're in deep trouble. Trump! Trump! Good morning, everybody. My name is Laura Loomer. She ran for Congress twice and lost. But she told me she built a constituency among the very pro-Trump voters in the villages, a retirement community that's important in Florida Republican politics. She called them Boomers for Loomer, and they were paying attention when she began attacking Governor Ron DeSantis for having the temerity to run for president against Trump. You are never going to be president of the United States of America. Loomer told me one of her donors let it slip that DeSantis was running for president in 2021. So on the first stop on the DeSantis book tour, she stood in front with a Trump sign and a t-shirt. Despite her new closeness to the former president, some pro-Trump Republicans are very against her. Her rhetoric and her tone is, is, does not match the base, does not match MAGA, does not match most Republicans I know. And I, I'm completely denouncing it. I'm over it. 